Hello guys, this is Josiah Bona here with another video lacking tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to hack a website using SQL map. So we are going to extract the database and try to get the contents in the database tables. So let's get started. I already have a site which is injectable and I'll directly take you through the automated uh, SQL injection using Kali Linux. You can use uh, H to see all the available commands that you can use. Let me open another terminal. Yes, uh, okay. Here is the list of commands you can use with the SQL map. So if you don't know how to use this tool, you can actually type SQL map tag H for help. Then you can go through the list of uh, switches that are available, which you can use to inject a website, a vulnerable website. So I already created a list of the site, and uh, let me list this. LF grip. Right. TXT. Can uh, see the content of that by typing less light dot txt. So this is the vulnerable part of the site. I'll copy, copy these, and then we get to use the SQL map. With Kali Linux, you clear screen with that. So type SQL map, SQL map, then tag you for the address or the URL. So you provide the URL that uh, the URL that you want to hack. So mine is that one. Then we want to extract the, the database. So tac tac dbs, then we hit enter. So SQL map is trying to see whether the ID option here is injectable. And if it is, it will tell us. So as you can see here, it's trying to test the get parameter on ID. And uh, it's saying that uh, this, is, this might be injectable. Of course it is, so we'll wait and see if we can extract the database. So our ID is injectable, as you can see here. So probably we'll get uh, the database, database and the database schema. Yeah, using union query around 1 to 20 columns. So as you can see here, the target URL appears to have 5 columns in query. So we're going to bust this database. So get parameter ID is vulnerable. Do you want to keep testing for others? No, already we know it is vulnerable. So we're getting the database names. Yeah. So we have information schema here, database. This usually comes with the DBMS uh, software that is being used. And uh, we have the Yam right pack main. So this is the database we want to target. So now that we have the database, we can clear. Let me copy this. Then clear the screen, do the same. But this time around, now that we have the database, we use D for the database. Then we want to extract the tables, tag, tag, tables. Hit enter. So we don't need to do any more testing on the ID. The ID is already vulnerable. Get the Tables from the right back main database. So you can see we have uh, uh, the tables. We have four tables in this database. We have careers, we have categories, then we have products. Let's try this table here. Users. Probably these may contain the user users of this site data. Clear again the screen. Oh, I don't need to clear this. So now that we have the tables, we use tag capital T for tables. Then we enter the table. We, have used, we need to fetch the columns. So tag tag columns. 
hit enter so if you are able to get the the users in this database probably the admin we can log into the site with the information and if the passwords probably if they are in plain text even if they are encrypted you can also decrypt them but if they store them in clear text you can just log in with the information that you get from the database and take over the site now again i want to continue testing so as you can see we have uh, the columns uh, in this uh, users table so we try to get the email you can get the first name id login name password so let's try to dump the contents of this database so we have the table so we have the column sorry i'm sorry let's clear these now we need the column we use taxi capital then we type what you want we want the email comma first name is not necessary we need the login login column we need name we need password we can also get the first name and see they may use this name to log into the database of the tables so email first name then login so we need to dump this data so we type that track dump let's see what we get So fortunately, we have uh, <laughs> the records from the table. In fact, a user's table, we have one user, and this may be the admin of the site. So we have the name, we have login details, we have email, we have the password in plain text. So you can use this password and try to log into the admin page of the website and probably take over the site that i not do it you can try out with another site and see what you get thank you very much for watching this tutorial feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the thumbs up button see you next time